Morning traders with another win for the inflation's peak camp as we saw that negative 0.5 PPR print month on month come through. Biggest drop since April 2020. Um, the market continues to ignore the Fed's pushback uh, surrounding this dovish pivot. Uh, today's uh, University of Michigan inflation expectations, previous month 2.9%. If we see a decline on that, could that be the final nail in the coffin to really drive this inflation's peak narrative? And the New York Fed survey of consumer inflation expectations, five years fallen from 2.8% to 2.3%. Although I doubt we'll see uh, a decline as large as that for the University of Michigan, uh, I do potentially see a decline occurring. And if that is the case, uh, then we could really see that inflation's peak narrative driven. Um, yields were high yesterday as a result of 10-year yields, the Fed um, not having to tighten as aggressively. That led to a steepening of the 2s10 curve quite substantially. Um, gold suffered as a result as real yields were up despite a weaker dollar, uh, but gold still remains above its 50-day simple moving average. The IEA yesterday believes that OPEC will struggle to push out further supply and upgraded the demand side of the equation too. So oil was positive yesterday. It's right up into that 21-day exponential moving average and above now it's 200-day and bottom of range support. UK GDP came through at shank by 0.1% Q on Q for quarter two uh, versus a negative 0.2% print. This was driven mainly by a drop in manufacturing and services. Um, nothing really surprising there, pretty much no major surprises. So I don't think it's going to push the, it didn't push the needle uh, for GBP US dollar. And I don't think it's really going to change the current uh, outlook on the BOE either. Trade the opportunity with Pepperstone.